Hey all, welcome back to another hands-on exercise. We are going to be creating a NQ call flow here in Genesis Cloud. So I already logged in, I already have the architect up. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to NQ call. And NQ call, real quick um, of what this is, it's really just handling all the calls. So let's say the call is going to come in through the, the inbound call flow. It gets transferred over to, let's say, support, for example, while it's waiting there to get answered there's several different treatments that you can give it, whether that's music on hold, um, whether that's messaging to let them know that, hey, busy, you know, agents are busy, um, maybe uh, an option to call back or leave a voicemail so they can, you know, the call back would then go and wait for in queue for them, that kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna work on today. We do have a default in queue flow. I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna leave that alone. We're gonna go ahead and add one. And so I'm gonna add one and just put uh, Dunamis NQ test. Here for the description, you would put just, you know, whatever your company uh, or business requirements are around the description to, to make sure you understand what that is or other people that come in understand what that is used for. I'm going to leave the default language as English. Obviously, home division, unless there's other divisions you guys have in your, in your business that, that you need to tie those to. And I'm going to go ahead and create flow, which will then create it and open the flow so we can see it. I will have to hit edit, obviously, to, to continue on. Uh, really, it's already in publish. So um, how it first starts in the default NQ flow is music on hold. It just plays this whole music forever until someone picks up. What we want to do is we're going to add a little bit more to this, right? We don't want them to just hear that music. We want them to know that we, you know, know that they're on the line, that we're trying to trying to hurry up and get to them. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of information around that. Uh, and this is how you do that. So to just before we begin though, there are settings that you can take on the left-hand side here. It looks, um, when, when we get into creating the call flows, much of this looks exactly the same. I'm gonna keep this very simple. We are only going to do playing messages and then circling around and playing the prompt again. We'll use a little bit of information around that. So actions, this is just those typical you know timeout actions or silence actions, any kind of dialback extension or whatever, that's where that is. Event handling. Uh, we'll find out in later, in later um, episodes or later hands-on what this is all about with the handling. So I'm not too worried about that right now. In queue, this is the default music. You can set this music to whatever WAV file you want it to be. Um, I think there might be a limit of file size. I think it might be 20 meg. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, but that's where the on-hold music is. Or By default, it's just the Genesis Cloud default. Uh, and then supported languages, which we're only keeping to English. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and add some audio here. There's some audio. You can do text-to-speech, or uh, if you already have a prompt uploaded, you can use that. I do not have a prompt uploaded. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in here for text-to-speech. So period, that's, that's easy enough. So now it's gonna say, please hold on the line, agent is hurrying to assist you. What we're going to do is add a little bit of um, flow to this. We're going to add, let me show, let me loop it a little bit. So this is a perfect example of a loop. You may hear in another, uh, a later hands-on about loops, um, but this is just a good example of it. And here's the loop. We got to set the variable for the loop. So whether that's task.loop, um, you can do that. And then you can do, you know, 99 times because you want it in there for a while. You're going to have the the flow that whole problem. We're going to play for a duration instead. So we're going to play for one minute. We're going to switch this though, because so it's going to come in, it's going to play, please hold on the line. Agent is, is hurrying to assist. Then it's going to play one minute of hold music and then it's going to circle back. So that way it will just keep on um, for up to 99 minutes, um, which should give the agents plenty of time to get to this. So in this one, you do not need to have um, a terminating action as it's still going on. And then what will happen is if it does go past the 99 minutes, it's just gonna play music on hold until it's answered. Um, we can go ahead and publish. It's gonna validate that. And then you will be able to use that. So we'll use that in our future, uh, our future hands-on training exercises, uh, but just wanna make sure that we could get one of these set up, um, all these set up prior to uh, dig it in and, and go on with it. So remember the the basic example of this. That's that's all you need. You can you can play with this. You can make this um, pretty big. You can do you know you can put a menu in and um, do voicemail or callback. 
But this is just giving you uh, a little bit of experience around how in queue flows work um, and how to create one real quickly. Thanks and see you on the next ones, guys.